The Congress Party in Kerala protested in front of petrol pumps across the state. The party's protest was against the rising fuel price in the country. Trade union leaders halted their vehicles on the road corridors at designated points for 15 minutes before 11 a.m., and the followers led the strike in response to a call given by the Joint Action Committee of Trade Unions. Instead of halting these many vehicles here, it might have given a better result if these vehicles were halted in front of the Secretariat building or the Governor's office. Maybe the party workers were afraid of an arrest, that may be the reason why the party thought about blocking the common man. Petrol and diesel prices were hiked again for the next few days. This shows that the protest of Congress could do nothing and they were helpless. In this scenario, the party leaders thought of stopping the free movement of innocent common man will be very effective, that is why they plan to agitate blocking the road, which is a main highway. Few party leaders were not in favor of this idea of blocking the roads. This undesirable strike did not bring any result, instead the price hike is still going on up as usual even after strike of Congress. This is not the way how Congress party should protest. You block those ruling party members who are responsible for this hike. It may work out. Instead, do not show your vanity to the poor common man. Parties should think more seriously about undertaking this kind of strike all over Kerala. The people are not going to watch and assist you like before. Middleman now understood the secret game the political parties are playing in the background. They will not tolerate this unwanted. They will rise against you in mass, and that will be the end of you and your parties. You may serve the upper class and get their support. You may suppress the lower class and get their support, but the middle class people will rise against you and challenge you. Hence, you should be careful in implementing this unwanted method of strike. Today, there was only one Joju, a celebrity, and a small group of people to challenge your infuriating strike, but tomorrow the scene will be worse and thereafter it will grow worse. Do not pave the way to that worse. The Congress party, including the KPCC president, are trying to charge this person Joju with a lot of fake allegations. First you said that he was drunk and screening Gundayism. Some of you even said that you saw few empty liquor bottles in his vehicle. But after the medical examination the report says that he was not drunk. Here the Congress leaders twisted the scene, charging him that he misbehaved with lady party members. Then you charged him saying something wrong in his body language. If you are pinpointing the body languages of people, first you will have to look at the body language of some of your leaders and decide what would be the future of your party if such leaders guide you. Some people were talking very bad about Joju in media. Above all you should realize that the Honorable Supreme Court and High Courts have warned the ruling government to call off these kinds of strikes blocking the road. By doing this, you are blocking the right of free movement of a common man. Honorable Courts have given awareness to all political parties a number of times. Still all the parties are continuing with this same practice of blocking the roads on highways. If you want, you block the ministers and MLAs. Do not allow them and their family members to travel or march towards the assembly buildings or secretariat or parliament or wherever the ruling parties are. Instead of that, why should you disturb the common man? This is not acceptable. It looks like all political party members have taken an oath promising that you will not abide by the verdict given by the judiciary. Senior Congress leaders like Ramesh Chanithala, Uman Chandi, opposition leader V.D. Satisan, Malapali Ramachandran, UDF convener M.M. Hassan, and others protested in front of the various petrol bunk. Remember these places where they were doing the strike were safe zones, and after that the leaders skulked away from the scene allowing the followers to clash with the public. The state and central governments are looting the people. More than half of the fuel price that we pay is the tax for these two governments. Do not try to put the blame on others and pretend that you people are saints. Senior leader Uman Chandi said, Despite the low price of crude oil, people are paying high prices for the fuel in the country. Mr. Chandy, have you awakened from deep sleep? Now only you came to know that, uh, that fuel prices are high. When your party was in power, the fuel price deciding power was given to a private body. That time you never came with a protest. What were you doing that time? It is very surprising to see that forefront leaders like Uman Chandy is in favor of blocking the way and protest. Former leader of opposition of the state assembly, Ramesh Chanithala inaugurated the protest at Veliambalam and after the inauguration, he left the scene. Others are suffering now. He said in the inauguration meeting that the fuel price hike affects the common man. If Congress is very much worried about the common man's issue, then why are they favoring this annoying way of strike by blocking the way of the same common man? Congress leaders said that when the price is high, the state government is happy. Obviously, the state government will be happy because they will get more tax amount. The BJP government is making it difficult for the people to live in this country. 
and the state government is supporting the center. You have also done the similar before when you were in the power. This kind of irritating words and action will not help the Congress. Due to this kind of irresponsible statement and action by the party, people had to call the CPM to rule the state for the second consecutive time. If required, even the third will be another option for the people. The traffic came to a standstill at many important junctions across Kerala following a 15-minute motor strike called by the Joint Action Committee of Trade Unions to protest against the hike in price of petroleum products by oil majors. At designated points, trade union leaders led the strike and halted their vehicles in the road corridors. Several motorists were caught in traffic snarls as auto rickshaws, taxis, lorries and private stage carriers stopped the vehicles and the drivers joined the stir. During the last UDF government, former Chief Minister Uman Chandy had cut the state tax. But Pinrai government is not doing it. The poor people have been put to misery by the center, which has hiked the prices of petroleum products. The state government is not ready to cut taxes on petrol and diesel, putting the people in hardship. Munmohan Singh too, while leading the UPA governments had given subsidy. If this is correct then why did the people vote for another political party instead of Manmohan Singh? All the leading political parties the Congress and the BJP in India along with the CPM in Kerala are responsible for this cruelty towards common man. Interesting part here is when the price of a barrel of oil shoots up in the world market there will be a price hike in India, okay agreed, but at the same time when the price of a barrel of crude oil drops in the world market nothing happens in India, the fuel price remains the same like before. What is the logic behind this? Most thought-provoking thing is, the political leaders don't have to face this fuel issue because most of them are using the government vehicles for their whole family's drive, so they don't have to look at the fuel price hike. Here, the common man suffers. Above that, he has to carry the burden in looking after these politicians also. If these parties are really serious in the sufferings of common man, they must have allowed the common man to enjoy whatever they are enjoying now, and then they should go for this kind of strikes, blocking the others on roads. If this is done, they would get massive support from the public. Today, what they have done is a waste, not even a single pays in the cost of fuel is reduced. Before an action all political parties and the leaders should put on the shoes of a common man, just think about your own family members and make sure that there is nobody seriously sick at home who need urgent medical attention or there is no pregnant ladies who need emergency medical attention and no children going to schools and colleges either to study or appear the examination, first clear all this and then stretch your leg forward for road blocking. Whatever happened today is not a warning, but this is the fact, the present situation is not like the olden days, you are no more more ruling the uneducated. Hence, look into this reality through which the common man understood from his own past experiences. Congress says that Joja protested them because he was drunk or had taken some other drugs. If this is what Congress see on protesters, then first of all they must agree that Congress party followers are also protesting because they were drunk or taken some other drugs. While talking to media female party workers said about the misbehavior of Joju, it is very clearly visible that one of the male party workers soaring from behind and prompting in the ears of this lady to speak about Joju's abuse towards them, and she is nodding to this prompting. What is happening to the Congress party? Is this the party of Mahatma Gandhi, Jawaharlal Nehru, and the Iron Lady Indira Gandhi? This this is very much disgusting. Please do not spoil the good name of those great leaders. Thank you and have a nice day.